Hey guys, make sure you stay until the end. If you make one common mistake, you can spend thousands of dollars on parts and diagnostics you don't need. Stay with us and we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video 20. If you're having a Toyota Sienna, the generation from year 2011 to year 2020. If you have one of those, you need to find where the fuse for the third seat power seat, third row power seat is located guys. Which fuse controls the third row power seat? Uh, actually two of them, where you can find them, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, realize at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and time. And why it's important to test fuses and realize all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take things completely apart, we show you guys how to do electrical, mechanical, bodywork, a little bit of everything guys. If you have one of those vehicles that we're making videos on, subscribe. We will put quite a few videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. All together guys, on our channels, we have more than 12,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars. Now, also, if you need to buy any parts, to use at a good price, quick shipping, that way guys, you do not waste your money and time, we'll share in our videos where you can buy parts, tools, uh, fuses, relays, because some fuses guys and relays are special, specific, especially for that Toyota Sienna, you have those special fuses right here, uh, you also have that special integration relay right here, and the other relays, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping guys, uh, because sometimes they could be also really hard to find. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So now what we have here is what we need to check. We will demonstrate on this 2012 Toyota Sienna right here. You guys have two different fuse boxes in this car and today for the third, uh, for the power third row seat we'll be working in both. The first one is on the driver's side. Open the door, look above the pedals guys under the dash upside down on the left side where the arrow points you will see one white cover that looks just like this one. Remove that cover and you will see the interior fuse box layout that will look just like that one here. Before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system i will never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery, guys, okay, common mistake people make, it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect, reconnect first, if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules, how we know about that? We burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW that cost us $2,000 guys, so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first, check it out for your convenience. So here is okay what we need to check one fuse then we need to go to a different fuse box. The fuse that we need to check is fuse number 14. This 10M fuse right here. Next you need to pop the hood open. Once you do that facing the engine on the right side you have a fuse box under this cover right here. Go ahead okay open that cover and you will see that fuse box layout now that we have right here. We're going to zoom in a little bit and show you which fuse you need to check specifically for the uh, for the power third row seat you need to check fuse number 20 which is that 30 amp fuse right here but that's triple fuse here you cannot just replace one you replace all three we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price and quick shipping as well thank you for watching and see you guys next time